Now, we have team coverage for you tonight covering all of the angles of this story. We're talking to witnesses and police keeping you up to date on the very latest. And let's begin with Bryant Reed. He was there as police looked through the evidence and started their search for the shooters. Evidence of the chaotic overnight shooting is still very present here. As you can see, several bullet holes lie in the front window of this truck. And if I take you around to the side, you can see that this front side mirror is blown out completely by another bullet that went through. And that's not all the damage that has been caused. There's still plenty of destruction in this East Allegheny neighborhood. It's heartbreaking. I mean, here we are Easter. How, how can you even have a holiday? Scary moments for neighbors and a chaotic scene for police just after midnight. No, y'all, he got a guy. No, we got to go. As this Airbnb house party filled with nearly 200 people, mostly minors, turned deadly from more than 90 rounds of gunfire from multiple shooters. Large group and multiple people shot. Sadly, uh, we had two uh, victims from gunshot wounds uh, die. One of those victims as young as 14 years old, while eight others were taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds and plenty more left with broken bones, scrapes and bruises as they jumped from second floor windows to escape. Pittsburgh police and Mayor Ed Ganey are now using this shooting to light the torch for safer gun legislation and to push for a community effort to keep weapons out of the hands of the youth. Something that shouldn't have happened. Um, this goes back to having too many guns too many illegal guns on the streets. Um, too many people who have access to these illegal weapons. The shooters still on the run as Pittsburgh police ask witnesses to step forward. Uh, because we owe it to everybody in the city of Pittsburgh uh, to get those that are responsible for this. The glass on the street here is from the second floor windows that people tried to jump down in order to get to safety. Pittsburgh police who are being supported by the FBI as well as the ATF if they want it, say that they will have a link up for witnesses to come forward with information. And of course, you can do that both publicly or anonymously. On Pittsburgh's north side, I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.